Hello everybody, my name is Travis and welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent. But actually, it is not The Dark Descent, it is the, it is Key to Freedom. That was the last one I was on, right? Key to Freedom? Yeah, it was Key to Freedom. Um, I remember we were in like a really dark area. Uh, and uh, saw a monster walk by and I've got a puzzle to solve, that's all I really remember. A little hard to think, I've got a migraine right now. Not really that bad, like my head doesn't hurt very much. But I do have, like, some weird shit going on in my eye, so it's kind of hard for me to focus, if that makes any sense. Oh, wow, this does not help. Having the amnesia wobbly screen shit does not help one bit. Alright, um, so anyway, as I was... Oh, right, I grabbed something from up here, and I thought a monster was about to come fuck my shit. I guess let's go back out into the darkness. Take a look. Aw, oh, come on, man. Why is it like that? Why is it doing that again? Why is it... Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, this is good for my migraine. <laughs> and then this bright blue light in front of my eyes. So I, like, can't see out of my left eye at all right now. But I can see out of my, uh, my right. This is not the key that he asked me to find, but it may help me reach my goal. Um, okay. Piece of the blue... Piece of the blue crystal ball? F slash button X to turn it on. Lantern off. Okay. I don't like this lack of ambience. Very concerning. But, no need to fear. Everything's going to be fine. As long as we have each other, I think we'll be okay. We'll make it through this. We'll find a way. We'll do it. We'll do it right. Okay, so there's literally nothing here. I see something moving over there. No. Okay, it's just my vision going wobbly. Alright, Jesus. That's the issue. See, that's the problem with me having this light freaking... No, oh, hold on. Uh, one second. There we go. That's the issue with me having this light blasting in my eyes all the time is it's so hard for me to see things because it's like that natural, disgusting sun ray blasting into my face. Oh, sorry. Actually, I completely forgot an entire important step to this setup. And so everything's a little wonky right now. I kind of just threw things together <laughs> for this for this setup at the moment, but it's all good. Everything's fine. Everything's all right. I'm being an idiot. I'm making mistakes that I shouldn't make. I have made far too many mistakes. All right, we got the statue in the middle over there. We've got whatever this is here. Uh, it looks like I need a lever. Oh, I see a keyhole. I, I did pick up a key, so I'm assuming... Interesting. Now what's over here is my... What is that? There's some weird visual effects going on. God damn it, it's just me freaking out again over... Bullshit. God, I keep doing that. I do that all the time. I keep fucking freaking out over stupid shit I see out of the corner of my eyes. Man, it has been a while since I've played Amnesia. Honestly, I, my theory is this. Because I'm totally fine playing a game like Raft, or... Okay, uh, what do I press? Alright, notes, mementos, probably notes. The Chris Before I go on rating this, I think... I think, this is my theory, is I've... I'm getting too used to horror games, because I can play... I'm gonna get that bright light out of my face really quick. I can play the shit out of, like, Raft... Or Stranded Deep, or another game that I have in my library, right? But when I come to play the horror games, I'm like, universally, I feel a little bit worn out. But not worn out in the way of, I don't want to play them ever again. More or less worn out in the manner of, I, I'm like, I don't know. It's scary. And, and I feel like my heart just cannot take it anymore. But lately I've been 
kind of getting that feeling back where I want to be scared again, so well, I guess we'll just continue on. Uh, I gotta read the notes, though, before I do anything else, anything crazy. The crystal balls are part of an elaborate locking device. You may have noticed that pieces of them have been cut out. You will need to find these crystal shards in order to get this device to unlock a secret hatch. Be but be careful. Do not place the wrong shard in a crystal ball. It will be impossible to get it out due to a lack of leverage and surface friction. Each shard fits perfectly into each crystal ball, even if it's the wrong shard. Once the shards, sh uh, one of the shards should be nearby, the rest are scattered throughout the estate. You need to explore and hunt for them. But fear not, if you can spot a statue of an eagle just like the one by the crystal balls, there should be a shard hidden within 20 feet of that statue. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, so I'm not going to put a shard in yet because I have a feeling that there's going to be something relevant to that. Which is going to tell me that putting them in the order of their colors is not, in fact, the way you want to go about it. But what do I know? Uh, okay, so are there doors off to the side here or something? Is there something I should be aware of? Like, is there other ways for me to go? Are there other ways for me to go? Because I've only got one shard so far. Or do I have to go back? Oh, I didn't even consider that. Well, I have a shard. I imagine I'll... I'll probably end up having to use it anyway, so why not? I threw one in. There is a shard. I guess I'll just have to go back up. Why not? Or down. There's a lever up. So I do have to go back. I need to go back and hunt for the other shards. That's interesting. I like that. Uh... It actually has a use for the environment. Uh, I don't know, it's strange. Every every custom story has a use for the environment. It's just a weird, broad, general statement I made. Uh, but very interesting indeed. Very, very interesting. So I need to keep an eye out for eagle statues, or, or something to that effect. I can't remember exactly what it said. Um, oh, man. Uh, eagle statues. I don't recall there being one down here. I'm pretty sure I searched, like, everywhere that I could possibly search in that lower section before I got chased out. No, there wouldn't be a statue down here. Never mind. There may be. I may be being an idiot, and there's probably definitely one down there. But I'm gonna wait, and I'm gonna check out some other areas, because I think there's places I have yet to explore uh, so far in this custom story, and I don't want to leave any stone unturned, especially because I've already been down there. I feel like this headache is getting... I feel like this migraine is like... I can see again, and my eyes cleared up, and I don't have that weird visual artifacting crap. But, um... It's like getting worse in the head. Like, the pain is starting to really get to me now. So, it's gonna get a little worse. I know this. And then, uh... I think at that point, I'm probably gonna stop the video soon. But, you know, it'll be okay. Was this hallway always here? I don't recall this always being here. I wonder if it maybe only opened up after I did something. Whatever. No big deal. Man, this game and its puzzles. This game and its puzzles. I do enjoy pu- Okay. If that's what you think, if that's what you say, I believe you. I will believe anything you tell me. Hmm. Hmm. Still have a key that I have no use for, apparently. Alright, if you think this is the way to go... There we go. Finally. I enjoy progress when I make it. And when I don't, I get angry. So angry! All I do is... Oh, man, I can't even come up with a good joke right now. It fucking hurts too much. <laughs> Just uh, thinking, smiling, laughing. I feel like my head is cracking open, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I find that to be an adequate hiding place if the need arises. Very 
very strange, very strange. Interesting. Don't mind me. I'm just going to pass through. You don't have to come to life and chase after me. Keep calm. Keep still. Don't move a muscle. Yes, give me that oil. Thank you. Appreciate that. That's all I wanted. That's all I ever wanted in this life was... John McKay concerning the locking machine. As I have told you before, in order to unlock the large door in the entrance hall that leads to the dining hall, you'll have to push each button switch equal to the amount of sides that the corresponding shape has. For example, triangle equals three pushes of the button. When this is done right, the shape's corresponding light will turn red. Your goal is to activate each light in a certain order. Do it incorrectly and the machine will shut down and you'll have to start all over again. Of course, you should already know the combination. I've already given it to you. But if you've forgotten it, then you'll just have to figure it out on your own through trial and error. Also, one of the cell bars that protects the locking machine is damaged and can easily be broken into. Please get Harold to repair it. Robert Kane. Harold, Robert, and John. Hmm. I could probably break this off. I don't know. I guess not. All right, so what would that be? One, three, four? Am I stupid? Is that is that what it would be? Because it feels like that would be one, three, four. I could be wrong, but I mean, I mean, a circle doesn't really have sides, does it? Unless I'm supposed to count all those little ridges inside of it, which would just be ridiculous for me to do. So, while I have access to that, I wonder what's at the top, though. I'm gonna be... Yeah, let's, uh... Just ignore that for the time being. Okay, <laughs> I'm not going to go that way. Not just yet. Maybe it's a good idea for me to explore this while I still have the, uh, <clears throat> while I still have the chance and I still have the breath in me. me? Hold on, I need to look at that note again, because this is getting a little strange. Each light in a certain order. Do it incorrectly, and the machine will have to shut down, and you'll start all over again. Triangle is three. Okay. <sighs> corresponding sides, the corresponding sh The amount of sh sides the corresponding shape has. Triangle is three. When this is done right, the shape's corresponding light will turn red. So I need to figure out what red is, or, or uh, circle is first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, I, I'm guessing the circle's probably gonna be the last because there's absolutely n no, there's nothing I can do about that. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. four well, So it is triangle and square. It's, that's not... To see, that's what I'm not getting is there's nothing else I can do. That's it. So I'm going to do triangle, right? That turns on. And then square, that turns on. I press triangle again, shuts off. 
So triangle, square. If I press square again, it shuts off. If I press circle. Maybe I didn't do it right. Okay. So square. Circle. Square. Triangle. Circle? No, it wouldn't be that easy. Triangle. Square. Circle. Square. Triangle. Square. Circle. There we go. All right. Should I first explore the tower or go back down and explore the dining hall that has now been unlocked? You ask an interesting question, my friend. An interesting question. The dining hall. Perhaps I should go back up the tower. But I think I'm going to leave that for the next episode because this headache is killer. And uh, honestly, I want to get some rest, eat some food, do, relax a little bit. So thank you so much for watching. Um, this video is probably going to come up first because it's shorter. But I actually have another video coming up uh, uh, very soon. It's it's a longer video. It's it's going to be a bitch to edit. But it's a, a, a video of a game that I find particularly interesting and really awesome. It's a remake of an older game. So hopefully it's one that you recognize. And if not, maybe it'll introduce you to something really awesome. So, uh, yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you sticking with me through this. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment down below to tell me what you think. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. Um, maybe next time I won't sound so nasally and I can actually come at this from a not-sick perspective. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much and uh, take care, friends.